Hi and welcome to In Bed With Lainey where we get stripped down to our raw authentic selves to talk about sensuality and get a little comfortably uncomfortable. And today I'm so lucky to get to be in bed with the gorgeous Kevin. Kevin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I just like to say I'm honored to be in bed with Lainey. And so you should be. Lainey. I know, I know. <laughs> so, um, I'm a 30 plus male and um, I'm in LA and have a great time. That's about it. It's really easy to have a good time here. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> a good time will find you no matter where you are, if you're open to it. And, uh, and what would you like to talk about today, Kevin? Well, I want to talk about sort of um, some things that are going on with me, but also sort of a general perspective on uh, relationships and sort of the ups and downs of them. And what from my experience, I can offer to anybody else. Amusing. Uh, people are always looking for advice on how to have a sexier relationship, a more authentic relationship. So please share your manly words of <laughs> wisdom. Manly. Yeah. So for an authentic, sexy relationship. Yes. That's what we want. That's what I want, and I think all of us too. It's a, it's really about. It's about trusting that individual. It's about, it's certainly about sexual appeal. It's about, um, it's about knowing self, me knowing myself, you knowing yourself, and being okay with it. acceptance, and ultimately accepting yourself, and then your partner accepting you as well. And that's. A very, uh, as far as the ingredients of a relationship, if we were to make a little bowl of relationship cocktails or whatever it may <laughs> Let's be. Let's do that. Yes, that would be fun. <laughs> um, um, acceptance is key, and trust is also key, and and just it, and hot sexiness is, is also key. Uh, it's funny. an important ingredient. Let's put a couple of extra dashes of that in the, uh, in the uh, cocktail. What is it? Sexiness. <laughs> yeah. Sexiness. And. Um, Maybe we lose my train of thought. That's where we go to sex. <laughs> I'm a guy. This is what we do. Yeah, this is yes. This is what true. we do. You know what? Girls do that too, though. That is a that is a myth that men think about sex more than women. I, I actually agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, authentic is sexy. Authentic is sexy. I wish more people really embrace that. Yeah. The sexiest you'll ever be is when you are truly authentic. Sex is relationship possible. Just I, I see I see someone and it starts with physical attraction. Yes, usually, yeah. Yep, and uh, you know I, I have a type, and everyone does as well. I'm also attracted to um, uh, minds and attitudes and drive. And I love smart women. Uh, I love like brash. I love. Dark hair, well, we don't get into my specifics, but <laughs> <laughs> dark hair, brown eyes. Maybe some ladies are interested out yes, there. What's yes. Kevin's type? <laughs> yes. Man. Tips for ladies to attract their ideal man. <coughs> <laughs> um, Pause for that question. Yes. I would say ideal man. Erase the words ideal man, number one, and be you. And don't worry about the man. If you're you and you're yourself, that man will come along. If you know what you love, you don't, don't worry about attracting him. He's gonna come. So, is there a Prince Charming out there? Well, no. <laughs> Prince, Kevin Prince, says no. Prince Charming's become Prince Charming's. I don't think there's a Prince Charming. There's certainly charming princes. Oh. Okay. I can be a charming prince. You can, you're obviously a charming princess. True. So recognize. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and I think that's something. Uh, it's it's almost like something cultural that we've, or that that we've created, and it, and it leads to a lot of, uh, you know, expectations lead to disappointment, confusion. Certainly, and I think it'll come. Yeah, and me you too. might come in the process. Whoa! <laughs> high five to that one! Alright, alright. Here's to us all having a happy ending. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us, and see you next time on In Bed with Lainey.